Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now this is the second video that I have in um, my look around B&M. If you've missed the first one, I will link that in the description. I'll also try and pop it at the end of this video as well. Um, we're doing it in probably three videos because there's so much in here, we can't get it all around in one shop. So let's have a look and see what the rest of the store's got for us. Right, so up this section, they do clocks and mirrors. They also do lots and lots of different picture frames as well. So they do like the sparkly Christmas, uh, Christmas, the sparkly frames, photo frames. They're $2.99 and $3.99. And they've also got a big one down there for $5.99. They do so many different types. So it's not, you're not limited. They do fancy ones, plain ones, um, cream ones, pink ones, gold ones. They do all sorts. And they've even got some pink down here. This is a photo box frame, that's $2.99. And there's a suede one, I haven't seen that before. That's um, five pounds, that's an A4 size. So that would fit um, a certificate in that, in that size, being A4. There's some gray ones here, grays and pinks are still really, really popular. They've got um, one of these photo like arrangement things here. I've never seen them in gray and pink before. They're normally just cream or black. Um, what else have we got? These again are good to give us Christmas presents if you don't know what to get someone. You could put a few pictures in some of these and then just give those as a present. I mean that for instance that's $8.99. That would look lovely filled up with all pictures of the family wouldn't it? It'd be a really special gift um, for Christmas morning. They do lots of clocks too so if you're looking for a clock for your house, kitchen or you know anywhere like that they've got loads of those. And at the top they do loads of different canvases. So there's all different types at the top and they're always reasonably priced, sort of like £10, £12 for that kind of size. And then down here there's some smaller ones and they're like £3.99, £5. There's a duck one at the top there for four. Right down this section there's table lamps, light bulbs and light fittings and things like that. Here's some pineapple LED lights, they're a fiver. There's some string lights there, they're £4. And these are origami string lights. I don't know how much they are, I'm afraid, because it doesn't say on it. And there's some ceiling lights here. And here's a lamp, that's quite pretty. I don't know if the price is on that. The price, the price doesn't look like it's on the side of that, so I can't tell you that one either. And here we've got lots of different bulbs. The bulbs are really expensive, aren't they, to what they used to be. And... These are lampshades, so if you just wanted to change your room up a little bit, you could maybe get a different lampshade. Right, like this is all the decorative, ornamental stuff down this one. Some flowers on the side. There's an iridescent heart, that's four pounds, it, it lights up as well. And some different flowers. Not the selection that we had in our lovely artificial flower shop. Just a few in here. I like things like this as well, they're eight pounds. It's always known where to hang them though. I never know where to hang them. You've obviously got to like put a hole in the ceiling, haven't you? These are cool as well, they're 12 pounds. They are 15 for those. And they do loads of different pots. The aircon unit is always really noisy around this bit, so sorry if you can hear that. They're 8.99, some succulents in a tray and you've got some fake flowers in pots. And then over this side, we have loads of different candles. They've got Heritage there. That one is 12 99 It's a real big, chunky one. Again, candles are really quite good to get for people that you don't really know that much about them, or maybe they like candles, or they've got, they've got everything and they can just go out and buy what they want. So if you think they might like a candle, that's, that's quite a good thing. They used to sell Yankee in here, I think they still do, and they used to do Woodwick. I'm not sure if they, if they sell those still, but um, you've obviously got the cheaper ones as well. Floral Garden, that says Fresh Linen, they're 2 50 That's Jasmine and Mint, that's £4. That one's Peony and Suede, that's 2 50 I love the smell of Peony, I think I've said that before. There's some votive candles. There's 20 in there for 3 99 They've also got the pillar candles as well. They're 2 99 for 3 What else is down here? You see, I've seen these before, but I just think these look like they'd smell disgusting and really sweet. Got 
some different pots. These are some pots that you can put maybe on a grave or something like that. So if you want to get something to um, take up to the cemetery or, or wherever, then they're good. They're six pounds. Here we've got some different floral assortments here, little arrangements there, a fiver in a silver vase. And oil burners. Oil burners are a good present too. You can actually just get some melts. You can get um, a tea light, put that in the bottom, wrap that up. They make really cheap, but really nice presents. So you can just wrap them with a bit of cello wrap and give those, what's this here, a candle holder. They're four pounds. They'd look nice on um, by a fireplace or something like that. And there's just a few different candles down there as well. And this bit here is all like bedding and fleeces, duvet sets, that sort of thing. And they do lots of storage. They tend to change this. Well, they change their stock quite often in here, but there's um, storage and stuff. And they do all sorts of different colours. So whatever the, the fashionable colours are, you, you generally find it in here. Right, let's have a look down this bit. There's some holdbacks, tiebacks, 6 99 for those. Some sparkly designs. And this one is soft furnishings, throws, pillows, duvets. We've got some anti-allergy pillows down there. B&M have got their own there. Two pack, their memory foam, they're $14.99. They do an antibacterial duvet. That's a king size, 10.5 tog. How much that is, I don't know, because I'd have to touch it and move it about to see. Well, the single's £10, so that just gives you a bit of an idea. What's this here? That's a mattress. Um, single mattress. Again, I'm not sure how much that is. There's toppers. So if you need a new mattress but you can't afford to buy one, then you can get a topper. They generally help. So a king-size one here is £25. What else have we got? They just seem to have king-size, so I don't know, for double and single. Uh, around here, they've got some cushions that are on sale. They're now £4. They look like they need a brush, don't they? Also, air beds. So, obviously, camping this time of year, but also, when it gets more near Christmas, people, family come to stay, maybe. You probably need an extra bed. They've got a premium air bed there. That's a queen size. That's £45. And then they do a double, which is 20 and there isn't a single, I don't think. That might be a single, but that's just 6 99 So that's just a cheap and cheerful single one at the bottom there for 6 99 I don't know how much that one is. That might be a double, but I don't know how much that is. What have we got here? Hotel collection, that's 19 99 That's a king, 13.5 tog. Because obviously, with when the weather changes, you'll probably be changing your duvet as well and putting sort of a more of a higher tog and a bit of a winter duvet on. We've got some mattress protectors here. They're $7.99 for a single. Don't know where the double is. They've got pillow protectors there. They're $5.99 for two. And that's a complete bed set. So you've got a 10.5 tog, two pillows, and that's $29.99. They've got the anti-allergy pillow protectors there. You get two for $3.99. Here we've got a terry towel in waterproof mattress protector. That's a double, that's $9.99 on those. Right down here, you've got things like curtain poles, there's rugs, there's a pretend sheepskin rug here. That's $19.99 and they do all sorts of different colors. There's a crushed velvet roller blind there. They do lots of different rugs. I need a new rug. Um, we bought our last one from here and it kind of went a bit funny, so I think I want a bit more of a, an expensive one next time so they last a bit longer. These are the Royal panels, so you can buy them as a single panel. They're around about six, six ninety nine. there's some for £9. So, I mean, there's even like a pom-pom one there, look, a mustard one, some for £9.99. So the prices do vary and there's some more expensive ones there because I think they might be lined so I think that's why they're more money. Right at this section they have storage boxes and generally what B&M do when they're getting or making room getting ready for Christmas items they tend to put storage boxes in place so I would imagine that at some point this will all be Christmas so 
at the moment they've got storage boxes which are cute and they are very handy and they do help you to keep you know more organized so they're sort of like a pound for this size and these are 150 but you can put them in like your um kitchen cupboards they'll help for that medicine in your bedroom to put things in your office so they are handy to have let's have a look at these these are huge aren't they how much are they uh 7.99 that's um 54 liters with a crocodile lid so after christmas everybody wants to, and decides that they need the, you know storage tubs everybody thinks oh i haven't got any oh, i thought that was a person then but it's that clown i thought someone was standing staring at me gosh what was i saying yeah so you get your tubs and things before christmas is my advice and try and have a clear out so if your kids have got stuff that they don't play with don't need give it away sell it take it as a tip if it's no good you know there's lots of sites that you could maybe give things away on as well get cleared out get sorted before christmas buy some storage tubs so you're all ready so you haven't got that rush it just makes it much less stress when christmas comes because sometimes you just have no idea where you're going to put everything and there's down here there's these these are 29.99 i think they sell similar to that in um, hobbycraft and they've got these are two for 25 pounds those as well so they've got loads of storage bits in here that's quite cool that's a hexagon shelf that's 15 pounds there's all sorts of different shelves with mirrors and stuff there's a round one there and then you've got like sets of two shelves there are fiver they do different colours. There's a black one, there's a gold one, and then there's some larger ones over there that are £10. Right, down this section, we have vanity sets. These make cute presents for little ones as well. They love doing that, don't they? You know, you can set them up a little, a little station so they've got their own. I don't know how much it is, I'm just waffling on, but they, you know, they, they can set up a little thing. If Also, you can actually look on um, online to see how much it is or pop in. And I know there is a B&M app, but I film on my phone, so I can't look on the app and film on my phone at the same time. So that's why I don't download it. That's quite cute, a three-tier shelving unit there. That's £15. I like that. This is, we've got one of these in our bathroom. We've got like a really small gap behind the door in the shower. So we've got one of these. It's exactly the same unit, actually. And um, that's £25. We might have even got it from here. I'm not sure. There's some shelves there, Bluetooth shelf. They think of all sorts, don't they? There's some stools. Maybe you're going to need some extra chairs at Christmas. There's an adjustable folding table there for 15. And then the normal one, I don't know how much that is. I think, they're, I think they're probably, because they're getting a lot of stuff in, there's some things they haven't got around to pricing yet. But with B&M, they generally have the price on the box, but not with everything. Right, let's have a look around the next bit. It feels like I haven't been in here for ages, and I don't think I have. I can't remember the last time I came in. I think, well, the last time I did a video, actually, would have been the last time. So that's different. Look, a modern um, bedside like drawer set, bedside table, whatever it is we call them. And there's a tray there with a mirrored top. That's 15, I think. No, it's not. It's not 15. Right, there's some folding tables that a lot there's there's so many new lines awaiting price in fold up chairs so all that sort of stuff around this section right so here we've got like they do sideboards and stuff but it looks to me like they're clearing it ready for some kind of occasion that might be coming up not sure we'll soon find out won't we we've got double beds in here that's 120 pounds that's like um, a grey faux velvet. The girls would like that. Ebony's got that sort of thing as a headboard. There's um, a double ottoman bed there. Price, don't know. The double bed was 120. This double bed here is 179. And then a day bed. I think loads, loads of kids, like especially girls, go through a stage of wanting a day bed. All mine have. That's 70 pounds in here. I think this is where we got Ebony's from. And these boxes, what are they? Oh look, we've got Christmas crackers in there. And it looks like they're just sort of getting those ready to put those out. Um, they've got all sorts of stuff, so we'll let them crack on with that. Right, so let's go down this one and see what's down here. Again, it's things with Christmas in mind. It's all seasonal. They're putting all their seasonal stuff out now. 
they do lots of the Harry Potter stuff. So if you like Harry Potter or you know somebody that does, I'm not into Harry Potter. I have watched the first one, but that is actually all I've watched. But I know it's really popular. I know lots of people like them. Oh, look, we know who's going to like this, don't we? Need I say, by order the Peaky Blinders, that's a mug and a key ring. There's a hip flask there for a fiver. That's a heat changing mug, a bottle opener, and that's a notebook and pen set, that's a fiver. They've got things like Batman mugs and socks. They've got the Marvel ones as well, superheroes. They've also got these really cute mugs. So if you know somebody that likes them, and that would be a Christmas Eve mug as well. You could do that. So again, you just like tailor it to whoever you're giving it to. There's some uh, Mean Girls kind of stuff down there. It's a trinket dish, make your own fairy tale. And the in-betweeners as well. That was always really popular, we used to watch that. What have we got X? Oh, this is different, look. A PlayStation mug and a stress controller. The stress controller's three pounds. I think they just sort of like play with it and that'd be quite good. But it's a bit like those fidget spinners, I suppose. There's a PlayStation inflatable chair. A Minecraft flask there, that's good. There's um, a flow lamp, don't know how much that one is, I'm afraid. This is another Minecraft, oh, that's a light there for seven pounds. That's a light as well, this is just, this is just new, so I don't know the prices, but um, Xbox official. So it's an acrylic controller light, so it lights up. And there's some mugs there as well. And then we've got all these things down here that you can kind of project on a ceiling. So they're, they're great sensory items as well. So you've got space lights, projectors, they're three pounds. That's um, an LED um, disco speaker, that's 15. There's fairy lights, a disco torch. That says it's 14 plus on that one though. They've also got the lava lamps down the bottom. There's a unicorn lava lamp down there. A plasma ball. That's um, smartphone, screen, magnifier and Bluetooth speaker. That's £12. Pounds. There's a sausage dog extendable light there. That's £12. Pounds. That's funny. There's a gaming light. And there's all sorts of different um, like marble stuff here. That's a wireless charger, charging cable and a phone cover. And there's some multi-pattern projector laser lights up there. So they're just putting all this sort of stuff out. So it's just a case of like coming in and seeing what they've got. And then around this side, there's some different games. Games are really good to have. Well, they're good to have any time of the year, but I think we forget, don't we, to all get together and, you know, do things like that. I know we do try at home, but things like, you know, these trivia sets, just sitting down on even a Sunday afternoon and just, all getting together and having a laugh you know I mean we had a power cut the other day and it was off for quite some time and Chloe was around and it was really nice because we just kind of sat all together didn't watch the telly everybody's phone was on low battery so we actually had to talk to each other and you know what I mean when I say that I don't mean that we don't talk to each other but it was really nice we all had fun Alfie was running to us we was like picking him up and we kind of was going around in circles and saying what we'd do if we won the lottery and you know it's just nice isn't it so so things like this um you know you can sit and do bits like this can't you look family quiz night four pounds look would you rather so this says would you rather have legs as long as fingers or fingers as long as legs well let me know what you would rather do it's a bit of a strange one but it's things like that are quite fun aren't they right here this is called twerk pony and that one's called Floss Pony. So if your kids twerk or floss, or if you can, what's that? There's card tricks there. There's movie trivia. Oh, that's good. Look, the buzzer quiz. It's got a big buzzer on the top. I don't know what it is about buzzers. They're, they're fun, aren't they? There's some toilet paper with puzzles on. If you know somebody that spends too long in the toilet, you could maybe get them that. There's some stress balls there. They're three pounds and a little bell to ring. I won't get that for my family. So I wouldn't be best impressed if they started dinging that on me. Oh, this is like retro kind of games. Look, Pac-Man, that's eight pounds. And then Space Invaders, and these are Space Raiders, but they're the crisps. 
these are some slogans that you can put on a desk. There's gaps, so obviously they've got stuff coming in. Hot chocolate gift set, that's proper cute, that's five pounds. The colours are really nice too, aren't they? Oh, this looks like there's some things for dogs here. Look, dog toys with initials on, like little bones. These are folding shopper bags in the shape of a little cat. There's a tea towel that says I love cat or I like cats and that says I like dogs. And there's some cute mugs that with dogs on. They're 250. And that's um, a hot chocolate down the bottom there as well. Oh these are sweet, look. Cat and dog notebooks. Hello sausage. And there's a dog shopper there as well, so do a dog and a cat one. Um, here we've got wheat packs. These are good. These are good as well for, they're good for young ones, but they're good for like older ones and teens. And teens obviously get um, pains and things as they're in that certain age. And, and women do too. Um, so things like that are really good. Whatever their age, my girls would sit and cuddle that. So, you, you know, they could pop it in the microwave. It's like a lavender one. So it's got a nice scent to it as well, kind of relaxing. And these are quite cool. These are six pounds. But... You know, they, they do make a really nice present. And if you did like a pamper hamper, maybe you could put something like one of those in, a pair of slippers, a candle. You could get everything in here for a hamper, absolutely everything, um, except the hamper. I haven't seen those, but I'm sure they do them. I have seen them before. What's this here, look? Candle match gift set. Those matches are huge, look. That's five pounds. And that's new, that's some hand warmers in there. Again, it's the cat and the dogs. They seem to be doing cat and dog ranges. That's an alphabet pen. That's a trinket set again with the alphabet, so you've got initials on it. Everything's kind of got initials on these days, hasn't it? Do you reckon they get loads of stock left over of um, like initials that nobody has? Sort of like the, the not so popular names. I don't know what they do with those. They've got, um, what are they called? Like star signs down there as well in little trinket sets. Oh, I forgot to show you over this side, they do the Friends merch kind of stuff as well. So you've got the central perk, the flasks at the top and, and the mugs and glasses. And they do bits for phones as well. Right up here they do paper, they do lots of stationery stuff. It looks really full, doesn't it? Everywhere looks brimming. So they've probably had a delivery of all this. Loads of pencil cases. And books as well, they sell the little exercise books is down here they've got the padded envelopes down here normal envelopes they've got sticky tape what's that there red i have no idea what that is some sort of tape and loads of pens too there's bingo pens there's sticky notes we've got watercolor pencils and loads of different um, things like highlighters different kind of pens there's prick sticks tipex Stapler sets. There's some highlighter sharpies there. They're good to get if you've got a few kids and maybe split them up or save them for when they lose them. Because that often happens. They sell cards in here too, and it says at the top that they're from 29p. So again, that's a really good price. They do all sorts of different types. What have we got down here? Party stuff, party cups. Um, bags, so they've got gift bags in there. Right, down there, I'm not going to go down that bit, but they do like car care stuff, tools, DIY, and there's also more storage around there. And they do wallpaper and um, loads of decorating bits, laminate, flooring, paint, all that sort of stuff. And I think that's about it for this video. I'm going to sign off for now. And I truly forgot how big this store was. I might even have to do another two videos because it's massive. There's still loads of rows to show you. So that's it for now. Check out the description. I'm going to link the other videos. And um, that's it. So I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.